Hey beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share a prophetic word of encouragement with you that the Lord began to speak to me as I was studying out my word for the year or the scripture verse that he gave me. And um, that word is follow the path to good success. God has a path to good success for you and he is telling you to follow it to lean into it because he has good success on the path he has chosen for you i want to just break down before i get into this word what is a prophetic word of encouragement it is taking the prophetic the words of god that he whispers that he speaks rhema words that he gives me and sharing them with you to encourage you prophetic words look forward into the future they give you encouragement they build you up they edify you to um navigate your future to understand your future they foretell events or they give wisdom and knowledge for how to handle future events so that's what this is i don't know why i felt the need to break that down but if someone wants to know that's what we do so on this channel I share prophetic words, prophetic encouragement, and times of prayer to help you stay in faith as you wait upon the Lord to fulfill his prophetic words and promises to you that he has spoken over your life. And so let's get into this word for 2023. I believe this is going to be all year long. This is a year of recompense, of restoration, of things that God wants to give you to do to fulfill in your life. And it's not just because the year has changed, but this is something that God is speaking over our lives in this season. But when I broke down my word for the year, this is what the Lord gave me. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Lord bless your word. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So I'm going to break down this word and then I'm going to prophesy over it for you because this is what the Lord spoke to me after. I'm going to break down what the Lord said in each one of those key words and then how I put it together as the Lord led me trust, to be confident or sure, to be bold, secure, um, careless, not careless as in not doing things right, but to take the care off of oneself, to put your confidence, your hope, and your trust in someone. The Lord, he is the self-existing one. He's the self-existent one. All means whole, any, and every, singular or plural, all, whether it's all of one thing or all of everything, all together, everyone, every place, everything, lean to support oneself, to lean, to rely on, to rest, to stay. Understanding, knowledge, wisdom, meaning, to separate mentally, to consider, to feel, to instruct, and it also means intelligence. Way, now these are the Hebrew words because this is a proverb. It's the word that I talk about often. Derek is the word way here, which also means path, road, course of life, mode of action, conversation, and journey. And it also means path, as I said. And then acknowledge, to know, to ascertain by seeing and observation, to advise, to correspond or comprehend, I'm sorry, to instruct and to declare. And then direct, I'm going someplace, we're putting these words together, I hope that you're following me, to be straight or even, to make right, pleasant, prosperous, fit, good, pleasing, well, successful, upright. Path, well-trodden road. So there's a way and that's your course of life. But then there's a path, a race, a traveler, a troop, a caravan, a rank, a manner. So there is your, the path that you take, that is your course of life, your conversation, how you lead yourself. But then there's this well path, then there's a path that you take. So when you put them together, it's the way that you take your path. The path that you're directed on how do you go down that course that's important to remember those two different words um 
and then heart. I almost, when I was breaking this down this morning before church, I almost forgot the most important word because it's, it's with your heart that you're going to do these things. And your heart is your feelings, your will, your intellect. It is the center or middle of your being. But it also has a word that denotes courage and to consider. And so putting these together, um, the Lord said, be sure of the Lord and put all your confidence in him with your whole heart, soul, feelings, and will, intellect, and all that you are. The command center of your being. Do not rely on yourself, your own knowledge, your own wisdom, your own reasoning, your own intelligence, your own facts. Wholly and fully put your uh, trust in the Lord your course, your life, your journey, your, your journey, your choices, your conversation, and your actions. Put them in the Lord and ascertain wisdom from him by seeing and observing his instructions, waiting for his advice and declarations over your life. And he will direct, he will make straight right, pleasant, good, prosperous, and successful, your race and the road that you travel. And so what I want to prophesy over you and what I've broken down for you is, and what the Lord began to speak to me when I asked him what did he want me to share today, he took me back to what I had just written. And he said, tell my people that I have a path of success for them, that there is a path to that leads to success and to follow that path follow me and I will show them, I will direct, I will order their steps into, if they do not lean on their own will, their knowledge, their own intellect, their own reasoning, but they lean completely into me. If they wait on me, then I will direct them. If they seek me out and seek out my wisdom um, and wait for me to direct them, then I will take them on the path that they should go. And that path will lead them to a place of good success. That path will be pleasant and pleasurable and good and beautiful and lovely. But if they lean into their own understanding if they do not discipline themselves to lean on me to wait on me to seek me in my word so that I can instruct them then their path will be the opposite their way will be hard and so beloved today as we go into 2023 it is hard high time to let go of our own way and will and start stop trying to lead ourselves and stop start trying to do things and figure things out on our own and as a whim and to um, allow God to lead us to lean into him not lean on our own understanding but lean fully into trusting him relying on him no more self-reliance rely on God and so God has a hope and a future for you he has a plans for a plan for you Jeremiah 29 11 says I know the plans that I have for you says the Lord plans of to prosper you there's that word prosper to give you a hope and a future and bring you to an expected end but you have to seek him he also says in that verse to seek him to seek him. And so this is what the Lord is saying to us. Seek him like never before. Discipline yourself. How do you seek him? Let me not leave you without how. How to seek him. This is a year where you're going to want to read your word. You're going to want to not just read, but meditate on your word because that's how the voice of God works. When you read his word, he speaks to you through his word and every prophetic word that he speaks, um, whether it's from a person or through nature or dreams or visions or whatever it is, it should correspond with his word. And so you're going, that's how he leads and guides us by his word, by the still quiet voice that lines up with his word and the principles of his word. And so you're going to want to discipline yourself to meditate in the word, to me, to learn how to wait in his presence and worship him and hear his voice, not just check your boxes with a little bit of time of praise, but include silence in that and meditating and focusing and and you're gonna have to get undistracted and spend some undistracted dedicated time with the lord and that's that's gonna take discipline in this year and we i know for me 
I have lost a lot of the disciplines that I once had. Now, of course, I still read my word and all of that, but that focus time and not looking at my phone and not doing things like that in the midst and just giving dedicated time to God every single day. Um, and sometimes we miss it, but the point is to go after it with intention, to go after it with consistency and to not make excuses in 2023, but to allow God to lead you like never before because those who are not in Christ and hidden in him it's going to be a rough year it's a rough season coming up so God's children need to be covered by the word and so I pray that this message has encouraged you um, please like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't and down below there is a free gift for you five clarifying questions for every season of life if you have not downloaded that and you want more clarity about the things that god is asking you to do to give your time and attention to in this season of your life before selecting your word for the year i would suggest that you download those five clarifying questions so that you can find the underlying theme as you go through those five questions. And um, so I suggest that you download that. I also have my seasons journal um, to record the beauty, blessings, purpose, and lessons in whatever season that you are in. And there's a link down below for that as well. Um, on my prayer yesterday, we did, um, we went through the beauty, blessings, purpose, and lessons that I captured over this past year, 2022. And so I will be using my journal um, that goes along with um, the five clarifying questions um, this year as well. And um, those questions are in the journal, but you can download the free guide and uh, just buy a journal and capture the beauty, blessings, purpose, and lessons as you see them. Um, write them down in a journal, even if it's not mine. I would encourage you to do that so you can get the best out of this season and this year. God bless you, beloved. Until next time.